If Git is the primary way that clients request information from the web server, then POST is one of the primary ways, if not the primary way, that clients communicate data to the web server. A lot of our interactions online are retrieving online content, whether it's videos, web pages, whatever. And so a lot of what we do is really defined by the GET part of the HTTP protocol. But there are times when we need to send a little bit of information back to the server. We want something to happen. We want to buy something. We want to submit a form. We want to create an account. We want to um, you know, submit our video submission or something like that. So POST also plays a really important role online. So let's look at POST requests and how they're used. Um, so here's a, a sample web page, and, and let me reload this page and investigate what's going on in uh, the Chrome Developer Tools. So you'll see that retrieving this page, as I would expect, so here I'm just asking for information from the server. I actually haven't transmitted any information to the server yet. And when you type things into the location bar of your web browser, this always issues a GET request. There's really no way to issue a POST request, that I know of at least, by typing anything into the location bar. You have to do that by interacting with the page. So POST requests really always start by fetching a page and then they uh, emerge from some type of interaction with that page. So I, I fetched this page examples form.html from our experiment.internetclass.org server. And I can see the typical um, information here shown by the Chrome Developer Toolkit indicating that there were a couple of separate GET requests that were required to render this entire page because I not only had to get to HTML, but I had to fetch some uh, CSS and a few JavaScript files. Okay, but now I have this page in my browser and, and I'm good to go. So this is a common way. So when you see a button and that button says submit um, or buy or things like this, that's your clue that this is going to generate a post request. So let's, let's try this. Uh, this is a simple uh, form that we set up on this server. Um, I hit submit and now it says down here, so I've, re I've retrieved a different page from the server. That page says I submitted the word test. And if I look over here on the right, zoom in a little bit, I can see that I made a different type of request. I made a post. So post is the way that I get data to the server. So uh, this form, when I submitted it, it generated some data a request that was sent to the server that contained some information. Let's look at that information a little bit more. So uh, here's information about the request URL. It was sent to this, and this is interesting, it was sent to slash examples slash submit. The request method was post. The status code is 302. I'll come back to that in a second. Um, the remote address indicates that I'm talking to my web server on port 443, which is HTTPS. So that's what I was expecting. Um, let's go down here and look more at the request headers. So this is um, the, this indicates again the method was post, the path is examples slash submit. Now what's interesting is that when I submitted that post request, if I look back in my location bar, I was redirect, I was, uh, I ended up back here at examplesform.html. And this is a very common web paradigm. Uh, and what, what it, it does is posts redirect you to another page after they retrieve your information. And that's why I had the status code of 302 over here. 302 is the status code returned by a temporary redirect. So here's what happened. I posted information to example slash example slash submit. That took that information, saved it on the web server, and then redirected me back to the page that I was on here, example slash form.html. But I know that the server knows that information that I sent because the server added it to the page that it sent back to me, and I'll scroll down to that. So the server knows I submitted the word test because it printed this off. And if I submitted another word, like another, I can see that the, the server clearly knows, it remembers this information because when I submitted it, the part of the web server that handled the post saved that information and then used it when it rendered this page. So what actually gets sent along in the post request? Let's look at this. So if I look down here at the bottom, uh, there's this uh, part called form data. And I can actually view the source of that. And here's the actual data. So the difference between post and get in terms of how information is communicated is in get it was inside the URL. And in post it's actually inside the message. So when I send this post message to the web server, I tell it what 
uh, endpoint I want to post to, what uh, you know, what uh, path I want to post to. In this case, it was slash example slash submit, and then I also include some data. So in this case, I included to say that it says text equals another, and that's how the web server knew uh, the information that I was communicating. Uh, before we uh, before we uh, stop, let me just show you a little bit about the type of things that typically generate a post request. Um, let me go through the HTML, and what's in here, if I click inspect over here, I can open this up. Uh, this is a form, and web forms are the way that uh, our web forms are the things that typically generate these type of post requests. So you can see this is a form. The action points to the path that is going to be used to submit the data. So when I click submit, it's going to post to example slash submit. The method here is post. This tells the, the uh, web browser that I want to generate a post request. Um, and then this is information that's used to generate the form. Um, uh, sort of importantly, there's a name in here, right? Name equals text. And that's how uh, the that's the uh, that's the key that's used in the key value pair. So for this particular part of the form, when I submit it, the name is going to be text. The value is going to be whatever I enter, enter here, like whatever. So this is an example of how post is used. A little bit more complicated than get. There's a little bit going on behind the scenes, but this is a really important part of how the web works because it's the primary way that you submit information to the web server.